morning guys, it's Kenny Rachel 13 and today is an awesome day. Um, not just because it's my birthday, but we've broken ground on the shop. So me and Kendall uh, went hunting and didn't see a thing. Still had a good time napping. Napping. Yeah, basically napping. We went and stopped by the land and they had already broke ground. Started scraping off the topsoil so that um, we can bring in dirt and get the pad built up. Probably about a couple feet. So we're heading out now. We're gonna go uh, check it out and then also get some pancakes from Mad Jack's. Gonna take Buddy with us. Buddy. Buddy, you excited? All right, let me pull the truck up and uh, we'll put Buddy what in, is the, your in the kennel. Buddy? Yeah. A lot, a lot Where of that. We didn't see anything. We didn't see anything but squirrels. Oh my gosh. Have you ever had the pancakes at Mad Jack's? No. Oh my gosh. It's kind of sad. Know, you know, I just tried them for the first time. They are so good. But look at this. The truck didn't get stuck down there, did it? In that wet spot? It hadn't yet. Hadn't I yet. mean, I've had to push him a time or two. Mm -hmm. All right, who's ready for pancakes? Oh, I think we're all ready. Good. There's no booze. Okay, let's in the corner. Social distancing. Look at this social distancing here. This yeah. is disgusting. Screw it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do y'all think about the land? It's exciting. It is, yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. Repping our gear. Yee yee! That's not our motto. I thought it looks neat. We'll figure that out. Alrighty, so I guess they're on lunch break. Here's the pad so far. About, about half, oh, over halfway. So you see all these dirt piles. That's all the topsoil that's been scraped off. That's actually the road that we're actually gonna have to go ahead and have done. So there's the road coming in. And then it's gonna come to that corner and then come 90 degrees this way. So here in Louisiana, we have flood zones, and so there's something called a BFE, which is a base flood elevation. When you're doing insurance for your building or your house or anything, you have to make sure that your floor's elevation is at least base flood elevation, otherwise your insurance will be through the roof. And even, even if you get your floor to base flood elevation, it's still already pretty high, even though this is a 1% minimal flood zone. But 
you know, that's just kind of how it goes, I guess, here in Louisiana, which kind of sucks. I think over time you can get amended or something like that, but nonetheless, the pad needs to be built up anyways, I think, because it does get pretty wet here, and especially in the winter when it does get wet, it holds water pretty good. Here, I'll show you all. This is the pin right there. That's the pin for base foot elevation. So that from the bottom of the ground there, it's almost about a foot. Actually, well, that's a little hole right there, but if you're looking at from this aspect, it's about a foot off the ground. That means all this has come up about a foot. So if you can see there, I don't know. So that's about, about 10 inches, I wanna say. And with 10 inches, you know, it'll be pretty close to base flood. And then also remember from my last video, we're at least adding six inches of concrete on top of that. You know, we lost about four inches at least of topsoil. All that topsoil is all organic material. So I don't know if any of y'all are in civil construction. You know, when I worked in Florida, we did a, a lot of land clearing and a lot of civil construction with grading, bringing in dirt, taking out dirt, putting in ponds and all that kind of drainage, underground utilities. So organics are material on top of the soil or just in the on the ground, in the ground that is not gonna meet compaction. Um, and so compaction is a very important thing with uh, when you're doing foundations, anything for dirt work. So um, with that being said, had to strip the topsoil. So that's what all these piles are. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with those here in a little bit. I may have to buy a tractor or something to move all this dirt around on my own. You know, after you scrape the topsoil, that's when you come in and bring in clean fill dirt. That's what that is. And then with that clean fill dirt is gonna be more compactable. So right here, it's pretty mushy stuff. But then, you know, when you get on this stuff, it, see, see right there, it compacts very well it's gonna be able to withstand to the concrete going on and everything like that Little update on the land, but we're gonna head, go ahead and get get on with our day. Alrighty, got the side by side loaded up. All right, y'all. So I guess that's the end of my birthday video or whatever this is gonna be. I don't know what I'm gonna make the title, but for now, yeah, I'm just gonna go deer hunt for the rest of the evening and then we're doing like a small company dinner, company Christmas slash New Year's dinner with family built construction and with Josh and Colby and their family. So it's gonna be a little good time tonight. Just sit back by the fire and have some jambalaya or gumbo or something. And then also maybe some deer sausages that I've gotten made. So wish me luck. Hopefully I'll have a big one slip up on me tonight. Thank you all so much for being a part of my day. And I hope y'all enjoyed watching the video. And let me know what y'all think. Do y'all like the progress video of the shop? And should I continue doing them? Or should I just mash it all together into one video? Let me know down in the comments below what y'all think. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe for me if y'all haven't already. I don't know. We'll see how this all goes. and. It's already come so far. Thank y'all so much for the awesome comments in the last video. If you haven't seen that one already, go back and check it out and comment and let me know what y'all thought of on that one. Uh, because we still haven't found a truck for my wife yet, so we still need recommendations. All right, guys. Take care. Bye. Get it, baby. Did you get it? Look at that. Hey. That was awesome. Way to go. <laughs>